glowing! <laughs> That's what happens when you're summoned by the map. Some pony needs our help? We're being called by the map? Did I mention we're glowing? <laughs> so, where exactly in Equestria are we needed? Actually, where you're going isn't even in Equestria. Wow, that's almost off the table. But what's way out there? Mount Eris, the home of the Hippogriffs. And that's where you're headed. Wow. My little pony, my little pony. Sure. Tons of fun. A beautiful heart, faithful and strong. Sharing kindness. It's an easy feat. And magic makes it all complete. You have mine. Do you know you're all my very best friends? You really don't need to come with us, Twilight. We can take care of this mission just fine on our own. I'm not so sure the ponies who care about you want you going off so far on your own. Besides, there's some school business I need to take care of on Mount Eris. This permission slip is for Silverstream. It's very important that her mother and father sign it, or else no field trips. Sounds like some pony just wants a vacation. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yes, I have been wanting to visit Mount Eris ever since the Hippogriffs moved back, but it's purely research. Silverstream's brother is going to meet us there and take us to their houses. Wow! They have more than one house? I guess so. The social structure of the Hippogriffs and Sea Ponies is a bit of a mystery. All aboard! Last stop, the new Mount Eris Station. Oh, <laughs> If I like being a hippogriff, part bird, part pony, I'm happy with just my pony parts, thanks. I think hippogriffs are pretty neat. I learned all about them from Applejack. The hippogriffs all once lived happily on Mount Eris. But when the Storm King invaded, they used a magic pearl to turn into sea ponies and escape to the underwater safety of Sequestria. Then, in the Battle of Canterlot, when Applejack defeated the Storm King... Wait, what? She told you she defeated him by herself? Uh, maybe she didn't say that exactly, but it makes for a better story. <laughs> Final stop, Mount Eris Station. Huh. Whoa. problem do you think we're supposed to solve? I don't know, but hippogriffs don't have cutie marks, so it might not have anything to do with that at all. Huh. Still, the map called us, so it must be a kind of problem that only we can solve. Go Crusaders! But how do we know exactly who we're supposed to help? <clears throat> Attention, please! Any grip here have a That's all I got. Maybe if the map could be a little more specific about our mission, like maybe an address. The map doesn't really work like that, but I'm sure you and whoever needs help will find each other. Excuse me, Miss Sparkle, over here. Sorry I'm late. I'm Silverstream's brother, Terramar. A hippogriff can have a sea pony for a brother? How does that work exactly? Shh! It's rude to ask a question like that. Whoa! Can I ask now? 
It is kind of strange. See, after the Storm King was defeated, the sea ponies didn't have to hide anymore. So some of them changed back to hippogriffs and went home to Mount Eris. But others got used to living under the water and stayed in Sequestria. And me? Well, I kind of go back and forth. With this, it's a tiny piece of the magic pearl. It was split up among our kingdoms. Cool. Well, I'm pretty eager to see the Hippogriff Village. You know, to get this form signed. And research, so... Hey, Terramar, does any Griff you know up there have a problem they need help with? <laughs> On Mount Eris? No, every Griff is pretty happy up there. It's a great place to live. <laughs> Whoa, this looks amazing! Last time I was here, it was a ghost town. Yeah, Queen Novo thought it was important to return our village to its former glory. And now, I officially open the Glad to Be a Hippogriff Festival! Every weekend, hippogriffs really like being hippogriffs. <laughs> <laughs> There's my boy. Hi, Dad. Haven't seen you in days, son. Wish you'd come around more often. Oh, Dad, these are Silverstream's friends from Equestria. They came up to <gasps> Princess Twilight Sparkle. Attention, every griff! Princess Twilight Sparkle is here! She's Silver Streams, teacher. <gasps> here to take in the marble that is Mount Eris, your highness? Absolutely! And to have you sign a form for Silver Stream. Glad to! But first, let's show the princess some real Mount Eris hospitality! To the refreshment tent for a stein of salmon juice! Eh, research! See you later! And good luck! I know you'll find your mission! Well, your dad's certainly... outgoing, isn't he? He's a great guy. All my relatives are nice. That's kind of the problem. Wait, stop! What's that wonderful sound? Those are the harmonizing heights. Legend says that... Problem. Did you say problem? You have a problem? Yes! Like I said, Mount Eris is one great place to live. That's why Silverstream and my dad and some of my cousins came back here. But Sequestria is another great place to live. That's where my mom is. Oh, I, I didn't know that. So no matter where I am, I feel like I'm letting someone down. No wonder you're having such a hard time deciding. And I have to choose soon. Every other griff my age already knows where they belong. I'm still not sure. When in doubt, chart it out. Now, 
We put down everything great about each place and everything not so great. Compare them and your decision is made for you. Well, it's obvious, isn't it? Mount Eris is the best of all possible worlds. Pro, it's beautiful. Con, too far from Equestria. I think that pretty much sums it up. But you haven't been to Sequestria yet. How can you even compare them? Terramar's right, Sweetie Belle. It'd be more fair if we visit both places before we decide. Hey, everypony! This festival is fantastic! Look what I won at the Ring Toss booth! <clears throat> but, of course, I'm really here on business. Skybeak's already signed the form. Now I just need your mom's signature. Is she around? Um, she's a sea pony in Sequestria. That's what Silverstream meant by houses. Mm-hmm. If you'd like to meet my mom, we're just heading down there now. And how exactly are we going to visit underwater? Excuses. This time you're staying for dinner. <laughs> Scootaloo, Sweetie Belle, Apple Bloom, this is my mom, Ocean Flow. And this is <gasps> Princess Twilight Sparkle. What an honor. You know, Silverstream just raves about you. Well, she is one of our most hardworking students. In fact, I brought this form for you to sign so that both my children are so smart. Would you like to see their baby pictures? Mom! That sounds adorable! I'd love to! And, you know, to find out about aquatic pony early development and, uh... <laughs> research. research! Oh, well, maybe your friends would like a snack while we're gone? Some kelp chips? Fish oil tea? No thanks, Mom. I'm gonna go show them around. Look out! <laughs> Not much sunlight down here, is there? <laughs> boom, bada, boom, bada, boom, bada, boom, bada, boom, bada, boom, bada, boom. No grass to run in and no hooves to run on it with. And excuse me, but how do you keep from getting all pruney? <sighs> Princess Twilight, you're back! And just in time for the screeching competition! Why not? Could be another trophy in my future. Be back soon! All right! Let's add some positives to the Sequestria side. Uh-huh! Swimming is like flying, multicolor fish, and... Did I mention the flying thing? You forgot the cons. Dark, wet, sea monsters. I don't remember any sea monsters. Alpha Bloom, looks like it's up to you. Me? Well, both places have a lot of good things about them. I can understand why it's hard for you to decide. Your heart is in two places, you can only live in one. You're torn between the hilltops and the tide. Thank goodness that the Cutie Mark Crusaders have begun. To give you hope and help you to decide These hills they call to you, they say harmonizing heights The 
This is your home, simple and serene. The sun dappled leaves are a mountain terrace. You can see 23 different shades of green to dare to compare anywhere to there is unfair and just plain wrong. Cold term air or you wear feathers, fins or hair. This is where you belong. Well, on the other hook, I can think of a place that's way more exciting and cool, not to mention more you. Come on, you know exactly where I mean. Sequestria the most. yourselves, how am I supposed to make up my mind? It's hopeless! Huh. Sweetie Belle said to tell you it's your fault that Terramar ran off. Well, you tell Sweetie Belle that if it weren't for her, our mission would have been over by now. And a success! Huh. Scootaloo says this whole thing is your fault. Well, tell her that I'm not the one who dashed all of Terramar's hopes and made him give up on the world. Both worlds. <sighs> Sweetie Belle says it's your fault that Terramar ran... Oh, wait. I already told you that, didn't I? Uh, what's going on? Where's Terramar? Uh, well, he... he kind of left. He wanted to be by himself. Which was not my fault. Mine either! Well, of course not. Why would you think that? Because, because it was our fault. fault. All we had to do was help him choose which world to live in. And we let him down. Whoever said that he had to choose? Well, he did. Hmm. Maybe Terramar is making it harder than it has to be. Yoo-hoo! Princess! We're having a seashell crafting circle. Care to join us? Actually, we're right in the middle of... There you are! The flag folding ceremony is about to begin! Thank you, really. I've had a great time in both places today, but... Wow, this must be how Terramar feels all the time. Oh, hello, Skybeak. Ocean Flow. <laughs> You're looking well? Oh, hey, hey, how are you? How's it going? It's a lot of fun. Come on! Hmm, this gives me an idea. Huh, I thought for sure he came this way. <gasps> he did. And I'm staying here, too. That way, I don't have to be on land or in the water. We're sorry. We were supposed to help you, and we just ended up confusing you more. It's all our fault. Oh, great. You're sorry, and I'm still confused. I'm staying in my tree. We might have something worth coming down for. We thought we'd get every creature together for a picnic on the beach. And we mean every creature. Hey! 
son, there you are. Your friends told us how you've been feeling. And we're sorry if we ever made you think you had to choose between worlds. That wasn't our intention, honey. Your Hippogriff heritage is something to be proud of, certainly. But you're more than just where you're from or who you live with. We love you because you're you, no matter where you choose to be. You don't have to decide. You can keep doing what you've been doing, going back and forth. And enjoying both places. <laughs> We forgot to add that both places have family and friends who love you. Thanks for everything. Hey, uh, are you glowing? Yes! We did it! Congratulations! Your first map mission is a success. Guess that means we're officially done here. I hope you come visit your sister in Equestria. Yeah, come see us! You'll love it! Who knows? You might even want to live there! Yeah, that was a joke. Mm -hmm.